Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this Spring Boot video tutorial, we are going to talk about the two important interfaces and that is command line runner and application runner interface. So let's uh, create a Spring Boot project and we'll try to understand through an example. So right click over here, go to the new and select this option Spring Starter Project and here is I'm going to uh, give the project name as uh, command line runner. So first of all, we'll see a uh, command line runner uh, interface, and next video tutorial we'll try to explore uh, application runner. So command line runner demo, or you can see you can tell a spring boot command line demo command line runner demo so and uh, rest of the things i'm going to leave as it is package name com dot info tick dot app and rest of the things keep as it is and click on the next and here i'm going to select uh, something is called dev tools nothing else that's it and uh, let's click on the next and here a spring boot version i have selected the latest stable version and click on the next and finally click on the finish now project is going to create in our work space in few minutes now we have created this project great now you can see all maven dependency has been added in this class path so here if you press ctrl shift t to search any uh, API from jar any interfaces or classes so let's search for the uh, command line runner so this is the interface I was talking about command line interface and second interface I was talking application runner application runner interface so these two belongs to the arg.spring framework dot boot package so so basically in this video we will provide a spring boot command line runner and application runner overview uh, in a spring boot application we can execute any task just before a spring boot finishes its startup to do so we need to create a spring bin using command line runner or application runner interface and a spring boot will automatically detect them uh, both the interfaces have run method that needs to be uh, overridden in implementing class and make the class as bean by using a spring stereotype annotation such as at the rate com uh, component or at the rate service so if you look at these two interfaces so these two interfaces contains a method is called run but if method name is almost same only difference is that method argument so if you look at the application runner you have a application arguments and here you have a string array argument right it's a var arg that is very similar to a string array right so command line runner and application runner serve the same purpose the difference between command line and application runner is that the run method of the command line runner uh, the run method of command line mm, mm, runner method accepts array of string as an argument and run method of the application runner uh, accepts uh, accepts a spring a spring sorry uh, yeah a spring application argument as an argument the arguments which we pass to the main method while starting a spring boot can be accessed in the run method of command line runner and application runner implementation classes we can create more than one bin of uh, command line runner and application runner implementing classes to execute them in an order we just uh, use a spring at rate order annotation or ordered interface the run method of the command uh, command line runner and application runner are executed just before a, a spring application finishes uh, its startup after uh, a startup completes 
application starts to run the the usability of command line runner and application runner are that we can start any scheduler or log log message before application starts to run so here uh, to use uh, command line runner uh, we will create a class that implements it and override its run method now annotate this class with uh, a spring stereo type such as uh, at component when the application a spring application dot run starts the uh, starts the spring boot application then just before finishing uh, a startup command line runner dot run uh, i mean command line uh, runner run method will be executed the run method of the command line runner accepts the arguments that are passed while uh, starting the main method right a spring boot main startup method so let's uh, we have created this project here i'm gonna you have a, a spring boot starter class right which is annotated at the at it a spring boot application here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a small uh, service class i would say service and uh, i would say message uh, service provider and this message service provider i'm going to annotate as at at rate service and here uh, this guy is going to return a simple hard coded message public string uh, message and this is going to return hello world message okay and this class i have annotated at rate a service means instantiation of this class will be taken care by the uh, spring container okay and instance of that class would be message provider service itself with first letter is small if you want to container to create an instance of this class with some other name then you can specify in this bracket i want the default name to be created so i'm keeping as it is now now i'm going to create a bean uh, who implements this interface so what i'll do i'll in the same package where my bootstrap class is available i'm going to create this bean with uh, command line runner bean and this is going to implement uh, this interface callback interface okay now here uh, here what i'll do this uh, where arc uh, when we learn uh, our bootstrap class uh, this class and we can pass uh, program arguments right uh, from here then same we can collect over here and here what i'll do i can use arrays dot stream right so stream this method uh, has been added in java 8 so stream has a lot of overloaded method one of the method is t of arguments so generic data array of generic array this text generic array so here we can pass this args <coughs> sorry guys and then i'll co collect call a collect method on it right so you can what happened args sorry guys now we can call collect method on it and this guy takes collectors uh utility class sorry collectors dot and we have a method called joining right which takes care sequence you can pass any kind of care sequence i'm going to pass uh, i want to collect this uh, vm argu program arguments uh, separated with the comma itself right and uh, this is going to return you as a string so i would say collect str and this str we can print on the uh, eclipse console or you may use logger as well if you want if you are willing to use logger then you can use so just we'll test whether we are able to collect all uh, arguments which is coming from uh, which is coming from uh, our uh, main bootstrap class so and now here um, return type of this 
guys configurable configurable application context and here this is equivalent to application context only and here uh, we can use get bin method right so we have a lot of get bin method one of the method is text class as an argument so i'm going to use this one and we have a one bin right we have defined this bin uh, now we'll try to retrieve this bin and once you retrieve this bin from a spring container then we can call its method right uh, so we have a this bin is having a method is called get uh, sorry message so and this will return us a message right this is going to return you message that we will print on the console so let's say print this message on the console right so almost we are done and one thing we forgot to uh, specify this class has to be treated as at the rate component or at the rate service so this is not a service class so, so basically we are going to uh, annotate it as at the rate component so that's it done now uh, go to this bootstrap class here and uh, right click on this bootstrap class go to the run as and you have an option is called run configuration go to here and uh, make sure that that your class is uh, so our class name is so this uh, where is our class that class basically will have to select mm, upper class must be here uh, uh, that is not reflected here let me close all files and here command line run configuration okay now here from here we can bootstrap class and here we can search for this guy our bootstrap class is called command line something like this okay i don't know why this is not coming in the so right click over here run as I go to the run configuration and here uh, that was supposed to come our class as well and that is not coming over here so this is a class run as run configuration okay no problem uh, we'll try to search for this class run configuration and here go and you try to search this class yeah. this search we are not this is not helping us i don't know why okay no problem uh, there is some uh, problem with Eclipse, so what we can do, we can run this project from the command line as well, as well. So problem is that this is not coming in our option, so here go to the debug and a lot of Spring Boot class is available here except our class. So almost I have removed all, now go to here, go to run as and here and a spring boot uh, class now you can see all classes over here so we are looking for the spring boot command line runner demo so this is our class now uh, we have selected this class now go to the arguments and here we can pass a lot of program arguments right so data 1 data 2 data 3 something like this right so now apply let's close it as of now and now let's run this program and uh, let's see uh, our another bean uh, like that is this 
command ok ok sorry guys our main class is something else so this is our main class is this one not uh, sorry sorry yeah that this, this is this is the main class good as class i was right sorry let's run it and here we have set it up